This is Bob Capetta from the University of Illinois at Chicago, and this lesson is on power series for the natural log of x function. So here's our goal. We want to express a power series and an interval of convergence for the function f of x equals natural log x. This looks a little different than the other problems we've done because it's not in the form a0 over 1 minus r. Now a0 over 1 minus r gave us a geometric series. And then we could use that fact that a geometric series converges when the common ratio is between negative 1 and 1 to help identify the interval of convergence, as well as to construct the power series. But log x is not in that form. But a version of log x is, namely the derivative. The derivative of log x is 1 over x. Can we make 1 over x look like a0 over 1 minus r? That's our question. And we're going to do it by subtracting 1 and adding 1. How? Well, 1 over x is the same as 1 over x minus 1 plus 1. So we're getting closer to having f prime in the form of a0 over 1 minus r. Let's just rewrite the bottom as 1 plus x minus 1. a0 over 1 minus r a0, my initial term will be 1, my common ratio will be the negative of x minus 1. 1 minus the negative of x minus 1 will give me 1 plus x minus 1. So using our a0 as 1 and our r as negative x minus 1, we now can construct a power series representation for f prime. Not for f, f of x is log x, but we're going to construct a power series representative for f prime. Before we do that, let's take a quick Second or two to find out what the interval of convergence is for f prime. We know the common ratio must be between negative 1 and 1. Doing some algebra, negative 1 less negative x plus 1 less 1. Subtracting 1 from both sides, negative 2 less than negative x less 0. Multiplying both sides by negative 1, and of course we switch the signs. What do we get? We get 2 is greater than x is greater than 0. So our interval of convergence for f prime is that is x is more than 0 and less than 2. But remember, we're not finished here. We want the interval of convergence for f, as well as the power series representation for f. But both the interval of convergence and the power series representation for f prime will be reflected in our work for finding the power series and interval of convergence for f. So let's remember f prime has an initial term of 1 and a common ratio, ratio of the opposite of x minus 1. So if we're going to list all the terms, it'll be 1 minus x minus 1 plus x minus 1 squared minus x minus 1 cubed, etc. Now that's f prime. I need to get f. We're going to integrate both sides. Integrating the left side gives me f of x. Integrating the right side will give me a function. Normally we put plus c at the end. I'm going to put plus c in the beginning here to make it easier for me to evaluate. So plus c first, integral of 1 is x, integral of x minus 1 is x minus 1 squared over 2, integral of x minus 1 squared is x minus 1 cubed over 3, integral of x minus 1 cubed is x minus 1 to the fourth over 4. So we see we have a version of f of x a version of what is supposed to well approximate log x. But I've got to find c. So how do I find c? Well, you'll notice if I plug 1 into all of these, I get 1 minus 1 squared over 2, 1 minus 1 cubed over 3, 1 minus 1 to the 4th over 4, 1 minus 1 to the 5th over 5, etc. Those are all 0. So if I plug 1 in, all of these go away and I just get c plus x. If I plug 1 in on that side, I get f of 1 is natural log of 1. Natural log of 1 is 0. So we get 0 is equal to c plus 1. If that's the case, c has to be negative 1. But you're going to see how that's going to be nice. So replacing our c equals negative 1, we get f of x is negative 1 plus x minus x minus 1 squared over 2 plus x minus 1 cubed over 3, minus x minus 1 to the 4th over 4, etc. 
And of course, rewriting negative 1 plus x is x minus 1. You may indeed see the pattern we're dealing with. x minus 1 minus x minus 1 squared over 2 plus x minus 1 cubed over 3 minus x minus 1 to the fourth over 4. We want to write this as a power series. But check the exponents first. 4, 3, 2, 1. So this time k is not starting at 0. k is starting at 1. So I'm going to need to have x minus 1 to the k over k. x minus to the 1, x minus 1 over 1, x minus 1 squared over 2, x minus 1 cubed over 3. x minus 1 to the k over k starting at 1. But also notice the sign flasher. Positive, negative, positive, negative. When k is 1, the sign is positive. When k is 2, the sign is negative. So I can't use negative 1 to the k. I've got to use negative 1 to the k plus 1. That way when k is an odd number, I add 1 to make it even. Negative 1 to an even number will give me positive 1. So you'll notice the odd numbers have the positives and the even numbers have the negatives. So this is the form that we're going to need. Here's our power series. f of x log x is going to be the sum as k goes from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the k plus 1 times x minus 1 to the k over k. A little tricky sometimes looking at this and writing it in this form. Uh, but I check the exponents and check the signs. That's really the best advice I can give you there. Now, we need to check the endpoints. We use the ratio test to determine what the interval of convergence was. So how are we going to make sense of that? Here's our ratio test. So a sub k plus 1 will be x minus 1 to the k plus 1 over k plus 1. The absolute values will eliminate this negative 1 sign flasher. All right. So a sub k is x minus 1 to the k over k. For the ratio test, we're going to divide these two guys out. So a sub k plus 1 divided by a sub k. This x minus 1 to the k plus 1 over k plus 1 divided by x minus 1 to the k over k. So what happens here? x minus 1 to the k plus 1 over x minus 1 to the k. This will give me absolute value of x minus 1 times k over k plus 1. Now, as k goes to infinity, k over k plus 1 is going to go to 1. So our limit will just be the absolute value of x minus 1. For our interval of convergence for the ratio test, we need that to be less than 1. When it equals 1, remember, the ratio test is inconclusive. So we want to find out when is that ratio less than 1. So I need absolute x minus 1 to be less than 1, negative 1 less than x minus 1 less than 1. x is between 0 and 2. And you will recognize this is the same interval of convergence that we had for f prime. Except, again, the ratio test is inconclusive when it equals 1. When x is 0 or x is 2, the ratio equals 1. So we must test the endpoints. We're going to plug 0 into this function to see if it converges to check that endpoint. We're going to plug 2 into this function to see if it converges before we get our final interval of convergence. So f of 0. If we plug in 0, 0 minus 1 to the k. 0 minus 1 to the k is negative 1 to the k. And this is negative 1 to the k plus 1. Negative 1 to the k plus 1 times negative 1 to the k. How is that going to behave? Negative 1 to the k plus 1 times negative 1 to the k will be negative 1 to the 2k plus 1. But what is two, negative 1 to the 2k plus 1? 2k plus 1 is always odd. Negative 1 to an odd number will always be negative 1. What does this become? This becomes the sum as k goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 over k. That is the negative harmonic series that diverges, which it should because we're approximating the function f of x equals natural log of x. 0 is not in the domain of the natural log of x, so it shouldn't surprise us that our power series diverges at x equals 0. Taking a look at 2, what are we going to get there? 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 to the k is just 1. So this whole thing will be negative 1 to the k plus 1 over k. 
Again, replacing the x with 2. 2 minus 1 to the k. 2 minus 1 to the k is 1 to the k. 1 to the k is just 1. All I get is negative 1 to the k plus 1 over k. This is an alternating harmonic. This will converge by the alternating series test. It's alternating. Its absolute values are going to 0, and it's decreasing. Put all that together, that's going to converge. So that endpoint, 2, will indeed converge for the power series. So the interval of convergence will be half open interval. Open at 0, close to 2. With our power series expansion, incorrect there. Corrected now. So log x is the sum as k goes from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the k plus 1 times x minus 1 to the k over k with an interval of convergence open at 0, closed at 2. And that will complete this lesson.